fourth cone. Give traffic plenty of warning. In a perfect world, all traffic could be diverted until some incident has been cleared. Managing traffic would be easy if there just were no cars and trucks. In the real world, delays cause stress. Everybody's in a hurry, and tempers are quick to stir. Five years ago, the phrase road rage was never known. Now, it's become a part of our daily vocabulary. Advance warning can help. You know the exercise, arrow boards, flares, cones, police cars, detours, and alternative routes, among others. Variable message signs, whether fixed or portable, have also proven to be effective devices to communicate traffic and incident information on nearly a real-time basis. The point is, use whatever means are available to give traffic plenty of warning. Okay, the fifth cone. Protect the scene with apparatus. You may not think of your vehicles or apparatus as a protective shield between you and the regular traffic flow, but it can be just that. It's always better to lose equipment than it is to lose lives. Properly positioned, the equipment offers tons of fortification around the response to a highway incident. You can safeguard the scene and safeguard the crew with just a little forethought about how the scene should be protected. For instance, you should always arrange the apparatus assuming that it's going to be struck. That means the equipment should be parked at an angle and with front wheels turned in such a way that any subsequent collision is less likely to impact the responders to the initial incident. Help create a safer zone of response and protect the scene with apparatus. The sixth cone. Always work away from the traffic. This cone is a little more than an echo of what you heard so often when you were a kid. Don't play in the traffic. In all fairness, no one is playing when they respond to a highway incident. But sometimes the focus is so great on saving others that we fail to safeguard ourselves. The conversations, the discussions, the evaluations, they can all generally be done much more safely away from the traffic. Think about where you are. Don't be a target. And special attention must be given to your proximity to the traffic flow before you hop out of a vehicle or off the apparatus. After all, you've responded to help, but you'll be helping no one if you are the victim in a secondary incident. Always work away from the traffic. The seventh cone. Be prepared to shut down the roadway. This is a cone that is rarely popular with law enforcement or the public at large, but it has to be held as an option. Closing a roadway clearly eliminates the possibility of a secondary incident, but there are downsides that have to be considered. For instance, closing a road could cause a domino effect in which other highways are forced to take on dangerous volumes of traffic. Then there is the concern about detours taking the flow of cars and trucks through residential areas, areas of low bridges, or past schools, or by hospitals, where the potential threat may be greater than the inconvenience at the location of the initial incident. With that in mind, many communities around the country have pre-planned and marked well-scouted detour routes as contingencies for just such occurrences. Anticipate the possibilities and be prepared to shut down the roadway. The eighth cone. Be seen and not hurt. There used to be a presumption that the more lights, the better. But we've all become a bit more enlightened than that over time. There's evidence that a spectacle of flashing multicolored lights can be blinding to safe drivers and a deadly attraction to those impaired by drugs, alcohol, or sleepiness. Another problem inherent in an abundance of brightly flashing lights is that it tends to emphasize the location of apparatus and might obscure the presence of emergency responders. The recommended alternative is to reduce the amount of emergency lights with greater prominence given to the use of signboards, arrow boards, arrow sticks, and reflective markings on all apparatus. Two other suggestions. If possible, provide illumination for the entire incident scene and recognize that the presence of police vehicles tends to slow down traffic effectively. Clearly, we all have the same goal, and that is that you be seen and not hurt. That leads very naturally to the ninth cone, dress for the occasion. 
You should never be forced to choose among protective, reflective, or comfortable clothing. If your structural gear doesn't offer high visibility, then get reflective and fluorescent vests. Just as important than getting the right gear is wearing the right gear. No excuses. And don't forget to thank the officers that make you wear them. The only thing they're guilty of is wanting to keep you alive. The eighth and ninth cone go hand in hand. Be seen and not hurt, and always dress for the occasion. The tenth cone is the enforcer for all the other nine. Accountability matters. It's all about responsibility. As long as each person takes the safety of the entire organization seriously, there's a real chance that secondary incidents can be eliminated. Take care of yourself, look out for others, keep your eyes open, and don't do anything dangerous. Consider assigning one individual the role of safety officer to monitor every highway scene. Someone explicitly responsible for properly staged and managed scenes. Someone who serves as the eyes and ears and enforcer of proper highway incident management. These are the 10 cones of highway incident safety. 10 cones that can make a difference in preventing injuries and saving lives. I don't think a day goes by where I don't read a story somewhere across the country that a fireman, a cop, EMT, a stand, somebody just standing on the side of the road uh, gets hit by a vehicle. We lost a lot of firefighters because of this accident and it, it certainly did hurt the fire company, and it's, it scarred all of us for life. I have a picture of my two boys hanging by my gear now, uh, in my, the company I with, run with now, and every time I grab my gear on, and I make sure I touch their picture one more time. It, it changed our lives. You know, in, in some points it ruined our lives. Watch back, guys. They're there to hit you. Watch your packs. Watch each other. Don't let it happen to you.